Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. I am uh, I am really honored to be here. Thank you so much, Shazia, and thank you to uh, Miss Bissell for uh, hosting us. I don't know if she's here. Yes. Where are you? <laughs> You're, oh, there you are. Okay, there you are. Hi. Um, and thank you to all of you for coming from so far away to be here on this uh, rather interesting weather day uh, on Capitol Hill. Um, I, uh, I should tell you that um, I was uh, sworn in on January 3rd, 2017, uh, into the U.S. Congress. And uh, my wife and I have three children, and our eight-year-old son said, so today is your swearing-in day, isn't it? I said, yes, it is. And then he said, what bad words are you saying today? <laughs> and so uh, over the past uh, year and a half, we've had interesting words uh, about uh, developments uh, both here and abroad. Uh, but uh, tonight is not a day for uh, any bad words. It's a day for good words and, and really words of praise and gratitude from me to you. Uh, praise that you've come all the way here uh, to convene your august assembly. And I see so many parliamentarians from all over uh, who've assembled here. And then words of gratitude for working on the issues that you're working on. Um, I just want to make uh, two points, and then I'll uh, let you uh, uh, continue with your uh, wonderful reception. Uh, the first point is this, which is um, a little bit about my background. I, I ran a solar company before I came to Congress. I'm the first member of the solar industry to ever be in Congress. You can clap, that's okay. <laughs> and um, I think that uh, when I was in the private sector, um, what I learned very quickly is that there's a solar revolution going on, not only in the United States, but throughout the world. Um, as you know, uh, solar panels are based on physics, solar photo photo photovoltaic cells. And uh, you know, physics doesn't know politics. Um, and what we're learning very quickly is that the price of solar panels are going down rapidly because of innovation, because of what the private sector is doing, and because of what consumers are demanding. And so regardless of how governments treat solar or how the politics plays out, solar is here to stay, and so the solar revolution will co continue to gain momentum. Uh, do you agree with me on that? Yes, I think we're yes, seeing yes. that yes. in every country. I think we're seeing that in every country around the world. Yep. Um, so let me go to the second point, which is politics. Um, you know, in our country, we have an interesting set of things going on. On the one hand, uh, we have the solar revolution underway. Um, my home state of Illinois is one of the hottest solar markets in the country, even though it has uh, slightly more uh, you know, it has only a little more sol solar uh, irradiation than Alaska. And so, despite that, um, it's going, it's, it's continuing unabated, but there's a tremendous backlash in our country uh, against people who would say they're fighting climate change. And you know what I'm talking about. All of you know that there's a, there are entrenched special interests that are opposing those who would be fighting climate change or who say they are. So that is not how I talk about this at all. I talk about this issue as job creation. It's about job creation and wealth creation because those who are leading the green economy are the ones that are going to be leading the global economy. They'll be creating wealth, they'll be creating jobs, they'll be creating new technology, they'll be allowing more of their citizens to enter the middle class, which for us is crucial for sustaining our economy and probably yours. So um, what I did was I worked with a Republican from South Carolina, his name is Ralph Norman, to create the first bipartisan solar caucus in the United States Congress. And you should clap because this is really a rare bird. <laughs> hey, the word, the two words bipartisan and solar don't normally fall in the same sentence, but they do in this case, and I'll tell you why. And maybe you can maybe uh, uh, take something out of that for your own countries. Uh, this is what I soon learned. Ralph Norman and I could not be more different. His name is Ralph, I'm not. He's a, he's a big white man, I'm not. 
He's a Republican from South Carolina, I'm not. But one thing that we share in common is a passion for solar energy. He has found that solar is a um, huge job creator in South Carolina. In fact, he's a, he's a big real estate developer in South Carolina. And in South Carolina, uh, a lot of people have chosen solar, have chosen solar as the number one standalone uh, power generating source. And so uh, he and I started this caucus together to talk about creating jobs. We're not going to get into the politics of climate change. We're not going to get into the politics of uh, the environment and sustainability, although those are important principles to me. But we're going to talk about how do we promote solar energy and sustainable, I should say, green technology and renewable energy as a means to help all of our people prosper. And there we, we have total alignment, and we have a lot of interest from other Republicans. Even people who might otherwise oppose uh, some of these technologies, if you say, I'm fighting climate change, therefore adopt solar. If I say, I want more jobs, I want solar, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, me, 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 I'm, I'm on board. Yeah. So I would strongly suggest for you parliamentarians in other countries who might face a similar political situation to what we're facing here, maybe you talk about jobs, maybe you talk about growing your economy, and that's why we should go green. So with that, I just close with my favorite saying, which is that yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. And that's why we call it the present. And so I'm honored and blessed to be with you here in the present to celebrate how we together are going to combat uh, misperceptions about green technology. We're going to combat misperceptions about uh, climate change and how together we are going to make uh, the earth a cleaner planet. So with that, thank you so much, and God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you.